Hello? Hello? Try to. Sam Ray, a better Yamia say. Say, what do you know about it? Do a ha assume dream. I ain't you know yet. Yeah, papa, in tin yes, she am. Waha, quite ready. And a group on so our high and so are you ready? In tea, you better a young bar could be. Now call for no so out to him, but I call an army you who say you are for no so I am a boy almost about a bit trancy this I'm ready to me dear no yes I see I don't know make sure say a beer your best friend I'm a pastor has a baby I'm ready in Pabu need to kind that's a pastor bit me a bomb pie I'm a and sana and you talk a crowd no idea any more no I shall see a a Bianca any better home sir Shall we all rise and start with a word of prayer? Shall we pray? Ye pompai. I don't write that was say. Say I all pay. Now do many I be shame what has say. The Jasabri Yinina Yaba Yabija Yakra Kwine Kra Kra. It too and they my dinner in our show, sir. Say your wangs of the Bewa has say beyond the enemy kind. Now, if we in the city and cry, 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 and say, be so put in peace, so I just said, if I again call, if I could dress on you, yet I was waiting, order by his name, amen. Hymn number 56. Shall we all open our hymn? Number 56, leave very quiet. After this one, uh, the marching drill will start coming.
Lord, that has been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever thou hast formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Thou turnest man to destruction, and sayest, Return, ye children of men. For a thousand years in thy sight are but as yesterday, when it is past, and as a watch in the night. The days of our years are threescore years and ten. And if by reason of strength they be fourscore years, yet is their strength labor and sorrow. For it is soon cut off and we fly away. So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Man that is born of a woman is of a few days and full of trouble. He cometh forth like a flower and is cut down. He fleeth also as a shadow and continueth not. If a man die, shall he live again? All the days of my appointed time will I wait till my change come. Thou shall call and I will answer thee. Thou wilt have a desire to the work of thine hands. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the death shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality. Then shall be brought to pass the saying, That is written, death is swallowed up in victory. O grave, where is thy victory? O death, where is thy sting? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God which give us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet he shall live. Fear not, I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I'm alive forevermore. I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Write, Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors, and their works do follow them. Amen. Please be seated.
beloved, we have gathered here this afternoon for the viewing service of our beloved, of our friend, of our husband, of our father, of our grandfather, of our church member, Openi Kwame Odru Nyama. I pray that the Lord will be with us, especially the, fa the family, and particularly the widow. The Lord will strengthen us as we go through this service, because being humans, it is not easy for us. On this note, I would like to welcome all of us here from far and near. Some have come as far as the United States. Mrs. Bediako, you are welcome. I cannot mention every name, but I want to welcome the family members, all the relatives, friends, colleagues, church members, choristers, and everyone here. We all know that death doesn't have the last say because Jesus said, I am the resurrection. Though you may die, if you believe in me, yet you will live again. So we believe that our dear beloved shall live again. This is not the final end. The apostle said, for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. To die is gain because at the last day, when the trumpet of the law shall sound and time shall be no more. When the master speaks, our beloved will hear and rise from the dead. And we will all gather together in a land where there is no death where there is no pain, where there is no separation, where there is no sorrow, no crying, no departure. This is our blessed hope. And as we go through the service, I pray that the Lord will touch our hearts, that we too may find the blessed hope to which our dear beloved Opening Kwame Udru Nyama aspired and held fast onto till he breathed his last. With me on the platform to serve you today, uh, on my left and to your right, the first elder of Lee Valley Church. Elder Michael Nkatia. Next to him is our beloved Pastor Fergus Ousu Boatin, the director of the Sabbath School and Adventist Muslim Ministries Relationship at the South England Conference. Pastor, you are welcome. And on my extreme right is Elder Ernest Osafo. He will be directing us all for the viewing service. Unless I forget, Pastor Fergus will be the, the prayer for the family. And next to him is our dear Prince Dia. Dumfe, he will be doing the scripture reading. And next to him is Pastor Louis Kwe, who will give us the <clears throat> opening prayer. Pastor Louis Kwe is a church pastor for Lee Valley Church, sorry, South West London Ghana Church, South East London Ghana Church, and Elephant and Castle Ghana Church. And next to him is uh, Pastor 
Koju Kwaten Ampofu, a church pastor of the Lewisham Church. And all these pastors up here have been the former church pastors of Openi Odru Nyama. My name is your servant, George Sechi Dadi. I'm the current church pastor for the Lee Valley Church. And our preacher will be introduced later on when he arrives. He's been caught up in, in traffic. And so may the Lord be with you and strengthen you, comfort you, and give you everything that will help you to go through this service, especially Mama Janet. May God be with you. Amen. Shall we all kindly stand up and open to our hymn now, 522, for our hymn of hope, 522. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood. Truly, on Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is 
sinking sand. Oh God, we bless your name for you gave and you have taken. Blessed be your name throughout the ages forever. Your word is very clear. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. We have gathered here to mourn the passing of Openi Kwame Udrunyama. He was a great man, nice man, very friendly. The gathering here is evidence to that effect. Now you have sent it fit to call him to rest. May your name be praised. We commit the program here into your hands and ask in the name of Jesus that through what we do here, you will bring comfort to the family. Pray in a very special way for Auntie Janet and the children and grandchildren and family and friends. Please comfort the family. We pray for those who have arrived here, those on their way, hasting their steps, especially your man servant. And through him speak that we may hear. I pray for all others with me here on the platform. Grant them grace to play their roles. And when the program is said and done, may your name be praised. We are looking forward to that day when the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall rise. On that day, may we, by your grace, be reunited with Openye Kwaminyama. Until then, keep us all faithful. We ask in the name of Jesus. Amen. We have gathered here for a reason. And I believe that most of us knew opening Kwame Udo Nyama, but some of us maybe don't. So we will call upon opening Frimpon to give us the biography or the eulogy. Oh of opening Udro Nyama. God bless you. Family biography. In the casket before us lies the mortal remains of Mr. Kwame Odro Nyama. Kwame is no more. The Lord gave and the Lord has taken. Blessed be the name of the Lord Almighty. Mr. Kwame Odro Nyama, popularly known as Eja Kwame, was born on 22nd May 1941. He was born in Asen Kumasi, near Asen Nyang Kumasi, in the central region of Ghana, to the late Openi Kwesi Nyama, also called David Kwesi Ekuokun, a pioneer of the Seventh day Adventist Church in Ghana, an Asuna royal family, head of Ofenso in Ashanti region and a famous herbalist in Ghana. His beloved mother was the late Mame Atta of Asen Kumase in the central region. At the age of five, Kwame's father brought him to live with him at Ofenso Old Town. He began his elementary education at the old Ofenso Primary School and continued his middle school at Ahinkro, about five kilometers away from Ofenso. 
because there was no middle school at Old Offenso at that time. He completed his elementary education in 1958 and obtained middle school living certificate. Immediately after his elementary education, Kwame was employed as a people teacher at Old Offenso Primary School. After one and a half years of teaching, he gained admission to SDA Teacher Training College in Bekwai Ashanti in 1960. It was there that he met Japon, Ba, and Opon. They were nicknamed as the Four Musketeers. During this period at Training College, he was once summoned before the disciplinary committee of the college and was wrongly accused of an offense he knew nothing about. In his response to the committee, he said, my face resembles Judas, but I'm not the one who betrayed Jesus. His pleas of innocence were not accepted and he was punished. But a few days later, the culprit was revealed and Kwame's punishment was withdrawn. After the completing his training, he was posted to Bremai KMA Middle School in Kumasi. And he taught there until he left for the UK. In the UK, Kwame trained in the nursing field and specialized in mental health. He did his first degree at Enfield Polytechnic and obtained his master's degree at London University. After his master's degree, he applied to work at the home office, but was instead asked to join the police force, which he declined. A Japanese works experience are as follows. People teacher, Old Offenso Primary School, Ghana. Trained teacher, Bremen KMA Middle School, Kumase, Ghana. Adult literacy program at Tempak Lane Office, UK. UN volunteer in Namibia. UN volunteer in Cambodia. Senior Mental Health Nurse, UK. Lecturer, London College, UK. Professional Counselor in the UK. Ejapame met his first wife, Madame Ya Amwa, when he was employed as a people teacher. He had two children with her, namely Adjua Dufie and Kwesi Nyama Jr. In 1968, a Japan fell on Mr. Japan to help him find a wife since he was once again a bachelor. They found the then Madame Angelina Otin, who became Mrs. Angelina Udro Nyama. They had their first child, Charity Ama Udro Nyama, less than two months before Kwame left for UK in September 1969. In 1971, Mrs. Angelina Udro joined her husband in the UK, and they had three additional children, namely Kofi Frempong Nyama, Barbara Ekua Chiafi Nyama, and Mrs. Lisa Ekua Konedu Ajin. In 1988, Kwame married Madame Janet, and they were together until he passed away. He lived behind his wife, Mrs. Janet Odro Nyama, six biological children and 16 grandchildren, and three great-grandchildren. Ejakwame had a son called Kweku Adomako, but deceased. Ejakwame was born and bred a seven-day Adventist. He held on to his faith until he passed on 
15th April 2022, at the age of 81. He was a member of the Ashtown SDA Church Choir in 1966 and later moved to Amakum SDA Church Choir. A dedicated Christian, educationist, and family man has exited this troubled world and is waiting for his Lord and Master to return and take him home. How else would he expect to hear from his master teacher, Jesus, with the words, well done, faithful servant, you have been faithful in few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter the joy of the Lord, Matthew chapter 25, verse 23. May he rest in the peace of the Lord and master, a may rest till the resurrection morning. Amen. Amen. At this time, we will have the musical tribute by the Lee Valley. Church Masqua, Lee Valley Church Masqua.
it's time for the tributes. And it will go in this order. Lee Valley Church, siblings, children, and grandchildren. After that, there will be a musical tribute by Anne Marie. And then the tribute will continue by the wife, the in-laws, friends, and Gak UK. So these will follow unannounced, beginning from Lee Valley Church Choir. But permit me to introduce the brother of our late Kwame Nyama, who is also a pastor from Germany, Pastor Afroy from France, Pastor Elijah Nyama, you are welcome. May God be with you and comfort you and the rest of the family. Also, we have Sister uh, Mrs. Bedia Kwanza introduced. And all those who have come, please forgive me because I cannot mention all you, all of you by name. May God be with you as the program continues. Amen. Amen. Good afternoon. I'm here to read a tribute for Openi Kwame Nyama. First Thessalonians chapter four verses 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with a voice of the archangel, and the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Amen. Amen. It is true that this world is not our home. Openi Kwame Nyama was a member of the Lee Valley Ghana SDA Church from 30th April 2005 until his sudden demise on the 15th April, 2022. Openi Nyama, as he was affectionately called, was one of the founding members of the Lee Valley Church. His dedication and relentless support brought together the likes of the late Elder John Menu, Elder Bright Efrifa, Elder Stephen Chumberima, and the other great personalities to establish the Lee Valley Ghana Seventh-day Adventist Church. And they worked tirelessly, contributing to the success of the church as we see today. Openi Nyama's passion for God's work and selfless service led him to serve in various capacities in the church. In Gavred, coordinator, Quarista, departmental head, among others. He was also willing to serve and to share his life experiences and advice to the young people in the church. His infectious smile cannot be ignored. He opened his arms to everyone, no matter their age. He was the grandpa, he was daddy, he was uncle, and he was a counselor to everyone. Words alone cannot describe the great asset the church has lost. His love for God and service to man was the utmost priority of his life. Openi Nyama was one of the oldest members, but his humility and, comp and compassion for the church members was immeasurable. His dedication and commitment were unparalleled, 
and unwavering. And it is no wonder one of the dedication, one of his favorite Bible passages was John 14, verse 1 to 3. And it reads, Let not your heart be troubled. And one of his favorite hymns was the Seventh day Adventist hymn, hymn 594, Heir of the Kingdom. He is now sleeping in the Lord, awaiting the glorious appearing of the earth's coming king to give him the crown of glory. Today, the church, family, friends, and sympathizers have gathered here to mourn such a dedicated man whose life and service to the church have impacted us all in one way or the other. Peninyama was a great man of integrity and service. Therefore, let us take consolation from the writer Paul. It says in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 8, where the apostle Paul advises us that I have fought a good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid upon me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord himself shall give me on that day. Not only me, but unto all them also that love his appearing. Until that day, when we shall meet again on the beautiful shore, may he rest in perfect peace. Amen. Amen. Who may be a war is Sumiachi or how be a one a rear yet? Enche a bit roofy. Soon a near jar draw and cook rope, conclude no be Enche a bit roofy. You know, Kwame Udru Nyama na yeta friend eja Kwame. I owo no ewo. Brunya bosumi no chi bosumi toso enum. Nefuya du no mi no infi a pima hem kwe dia na ba kum ewa sin kumase. Ewo infin fi man temu ewa gana. De beti mi akapa ne se. No we ni pas son kum ewa. And you are no mumu. Se mokaya. In fear, edio no me no boso me pepe pimuni. Brana wo din in fear, a tosso edri siano. Media de sebe to an uncle point him, me genuine man him say. Sink a bit to me out. Send ye in your city, you know, and Kawanya will nipa with Piatua. Obe wo as I see so. Nan so, do you may pay. And way. A Jacquame, no way about Tampa. We knew your papa. Never foot you, dear. Unty men can't want them, and I ain't men can't want them. Said they know you knew your papa and tea. Obo Modins or Bebboa and Yanumina. And you'll be beer, no be here no more. A foot you. Said the bear, and woman swing a becosso, and near Yuma, said the bear, the power in Yuma, Pessy, the bear, no two and yano mofo. The next chance on a set, the bear, now two and yano for set, in your eye better as soon as you move. No question, they say, 
Okosu kura ni jidi ya yewu nutu umwa ya meme da kwa yefuwa safu yiko pe mse. Uchwa ni ni eshe edayi. Braha. Ne ye eh, Good Friday no. Eje kwa mitri mu popa ba kon anase. Diye na ye ubronisi ni philosophy. Peace. Se de nu osi tiye nti. E wo mo ni pe biye ni wa wababa sa si suwa. O nye wo biyo nene ebe din sa wosuo. Nene so e jya kwa ame diye. Wana nene ni din sa wosuo. Ana wane ni din sa wosuo no. Se de nu osi tiye nti. Na ye kakre ebi. Mo yina abe di hon adanse. No suro nyame. O yu biya. O ye very principal anase. O pen shishe. No partner tine. Na o ye nyansa fuwa pa hansu ye. E wo jume diye biya anu wo diye mu. Ni jume diye biya wo diye enso sono. Ne hon ti. E ne. E ja kwa ame. E na. E deye ni mu hei. E ja kwa ame. O nyanko pa fre o. Sebe hon me. Efri yu ya siya ya diye eno wa hawa ye meye mu. Eni mise wa da. Ewo yeis kristo mu. Nti. Oma yeisu sun sun. Ni enyi a yore huo. Fi se e ja kwa me. Ma dene hon efri. Asa siya ya diye eno wa hawa ne edi suwe yi mu. E ja kwa me. Kopi mse ibi shiye biye mu. E wa hwe pona no no. Ni ebe tu mose ni ugwa mane honyo mano. Na abofu wa bepe paye ni uwe mu nisiyo nina ano. Unu ya no mse. Deye. E ja kwa me big brother. Deye. Deye. Amen. A Jack Kwame or John Yama was father to Mrs. Dinah, a Jofia dancer, Mr. David Okwasin Yama, myself, Miss Charity Ama Odron Yama, Mr. Kofi Frimpong Yama, Miss Barbara Akria Chefi Yama, and Mrs. Lisa Akria Knedu Aje. Our dad left us too soon, and we miss him dearly. But we take comfort from our love for each other and the memories we have of him. Memories that we will pass on to our children and their children, so that they too will know and remember Ejakwami. Then I heard a voice from heaven say, write this. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the Spirit. They will rest from their labor, for their deeds will follow them. My sister, my elder sister, Mrs. Dinah, Ojofe and Yama Danso says, From the time I was born, I didn't know my mother, although I lived with my grandmother for some time. My father has been my mother, my father, my uncle, my friend, 
and my everything. He has taken care of me throughout my life. And I feel like there is a hole now within me. (laughs) My God in heaven has comforted me with the loss of my father. And I know that one day we will soon meet again. I didn't have the opportunity to thank my father for all that he has done in my life. He has comforted and supported me through the struggles I have faced. If I were to say all that my father has done for me, we would be here forever. So I would like to keep it short. Daddy, I would like to thank you for all that you have done for me. I will continue to follow the good example that you have shown me throughout your life. And I know that one day we will meet again in heaven. My elder brother, Mr. David Akwasinyama, says, I give thanks to the Lord for giving me such a wonderful, God-fearing father. I was six months old when my mother passed away. He was my mother and father and my everything. He guided me when he brought me to the UK and that made me what I am now. We all lost a good man. Mm. I myself, I remember my dad would often take me along with him when we went out. How he would drive me to many places when I asked him and how he taught me to make a fried spaghetti dish. I remember the way he showed his support by calling me early one morning to pray with me because I'd gone for a job interview. The times when he would drive from where he lived to help me when my car wheel was flat. I remember how he would call me to see if I was okay living in a country far away. I will miss his phone calls and messages. from my younger brother, Mr. Kofi Frimponyama. He says, I'm thankful for my dad's life lessons and words of wisdom that helped me to grow into a man. How my dad stood up for me during a challenging time with my secondary school. And that was one of many occasions that he helped show me to understand how this world works. I will never forget how my dad took care of his children how he repeatedly had to buy me new school shoes to replace the shoes worn out from playing football, even when money was scarce. I remember my dad as a man proud of his culture, faithful to the Lord and at peace with himself. My dad was more than a father. He was an advisor and life coach, someone I am proud to call my dad from my younger sister, Miss Barbara Akweche Finyama. She says, growing up, I would think of the Huxtable family. It was a TV show that came on many years ago. And dad reminded me of the main character, Dr. Cliff Huxtable, because he was good with children. He cared about education and he was funny. I was confident when introducing him to my friend's parents that they would like him. Dad was quite progressive for a Ghanaian parent. He enrolled me in a drama school, which was quite unusual at the time. He would often tell me funny um, anecdotes, like how he had walked 11 miles through the forest to get to school. I still don't know if that was true because he didn't talk much about his childhood until quite recently. I realize now that he did incredibly well with what he had. And from our youngest sister, Mrs. Lisa Okuyeknedu Ejin. I remember thinking my dad was the cleverest person in the world when he taught me long multiplication at the sitting room table. He taught me to have compassion for others and introduced me to the world of politics and education. He loved learning and teaching others. He was a humanitarian. 
I remember my pride hearing about his work at the UN and when he volunteered as an ambassador for the London Olympics. I will miss his weekly happy, happy, happy Sabbath text every Friday evening. I am already missing them. I long for one last lame joke from him, to hear his dry chuckle over his own joke that wasn't very funny. But we'd laugh because his laugh was infectious. A man of great faith, he left us on Good Friday. So we take comfort from the words of Christ our Saviour. Do not let your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many dwelling places. If it were not so, I would have told you, for I go to prepare a place for you. John 14, 1 to 2. We miss you, Dad. We really miss you. Hi everyone, thank you so much for coming. This is a tribute from Echakwame's grandchildren. Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not pride, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not dislike in evil, but rejoice with the truth. Always protect, always trust, always hope, always perceive. First Corinthians 13, 14, 4 to 7. This scripture has described the true picture of our beloved granddad. He was always humble, full of love, and peace. He always encouraged us in our faith with Jesus Christ to read our Bible and to pray with our season. We saw that he was true example of this. He was not only concerned about our spiritual life, but in all areas of our life, he always made sure that we were happy and fulfilled and did this by helping us in any way he could. Many people were down to him and called him granddad because he was kind, patient, he was funny and wise and had time for everyone, everybody. Being by your side was true blessing to observe your wisdom and the Ghanaian traditions that you install in us. You taught us the importance of family. Unite to continue to love one another. We will miss your smiles, love tiny human, your comfort. We will always love you 
and we'll continue to remember you in everything that we do until we will soon meet you in heaven. We love you, Granddad. You always be in our heart. Thank you. Thank you. Grandchildren in the Levan SDA Church, Tottenham. Tribute to Grandpa Kwame Yama. Growing up, both my maternal and paternal grandparents were back home in Ghana, and therefore I didn't see them very often. They have now unfortunately all passed on, and I imagine that some of the youth standing here around me are in similar, if not the same, situation. It was a, a pleasant surprise to meet Grandpa and Grandma Nyama. When I started attending Lee Valley SDA Church in 2006, I would go to their house, 23 Chester Road, after church, and on other days too, it quickly dawned on me that their treatment of me and others was unique. The youth would come and spend time and they often heading out on errands with grandpa or staying home to help grandma around the house. Sometimes just sitting down watching football match. I enjoyed North London Derby games as grandpa was a huge fan of, 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 of was a huge fan and myself was a Tottenham fan. This was our grandpa. He cared and had time for everyone even if it was just a smile, a joke, to brighten up the day or the mood. To a lot of us standing here, Grandpa played a massive part in our lives, not only as he was our grandpa, but he was also a friend, a counselor, role model, and a confidant. He will sorely be missed. These are tributes from his various grandchildren in the Lee Valley SDA Church. I love and miss you so much, Granddad Devina. Words cannot express how much you meant to us, the church, and I know you are resting now and on the resurrection day we shall see each we shall see each other. Rest is the king until we meet again, we'll sing Edward Jackson. Rest well in the bosom of God, Granddad. I'm grateful for all the advice and kind words. Your smiles will never be forgotten till we meet again on the beautiful show. Good night, Granddad Patricia Badu. May your soul find internal rest, amazing Granddad Joshua appear. You and wonderful Grandma took in a stranger and made us a family. Only Granddad I can fight with, but will chase and make up with me straight away due to your selfless loving heart. You showed love undeserved. I will miss you and our Bible studies debate, the jokes and the stories we shared. Your love, advice, your presence will forever be missed. I will not say goodbye because I will see you soon. Your best friend, Kwaju Pendi, Kwame Pendi. We shall see you again in heaven May your soul forever rest in peace, Miriam Abana. You are gone but not forgotten. You will always be in our hearts forever, and your name will always live on. Rest well, Granddad Robert Nyama. May your soul rest in perfect peace. Thank you for everything. Miss you very much, your granddaughter Nadia, Mensa Yeboah, and family. 
I don't even know what to say, but you made such a difference and would like to say thank you for your positive impact. Hope to see you soon. Rest in peace, Ismak Sapa. Thank you for everything. You were such a kind-hearted person that was always smiling. We'll never forget your loving presence. Rest in peace, Frida Boachi. To my grand hobby, our last conversation was full of laughter as usual. Among all things you discussed, you said, I'm so proud of you. Your positive, encouraging, and open-hearted ways will be greatly missed. It is with a heavy heart I bid thee good night and farewell. Until we meet again, yours truly, Helen. Granddad, I never really got to know my own grandparents growing up. But I remember right after my graduation, half term, I'll come over to yours and grandma's every day and how you accepted me as one of your grandsons. Best feeling in the world. You will be missed, granddad. But we know you, but we love you and miss you. Looking forward to see you again soon. Your grandson and granddaughter, Alex and Louisa Quay. Mrs. Nana Ose, a.k.a. Nana Tabu Kwaku Abnabi, your sister, and your grandchildren, Josiah and Joyaida. Dear Grandpa, I am deeply saddened on your departure. You were a happy and blessed soul to have you around. I hope you are resting in the bosom of God's hand. Till we meet again, rest well and continue to praise and worship the Lord in heaven, singing praises with the angels. Thank you for gracing us with your love. Till we meet again with unending love, Nina Boache and family. Hmm, grand, hmm, I don't know what to say, Grandpa. Your words and voice keeps echoing in my ears, and I can't still believe you are gone. In all things, we have to give thanks to God. Who, I am, who am I to question God? My heart is broken, but I know one day we will meet in heaven. Rest well, Grandpa. You fought a good fight. God be with you till we meet again. We love you, Edda and Esosafo and family. Although we will miss you, Grandpa, your smart pranks, love, we take consolation in the good feeling of the memories you've left with us. To our beloved Grandma Janet, we are still your grandchildren. We love you and will continue to spend our school holidays, annual leaves with you. And to our dearly departed Grandpa, your warm smile told us that love reigns supreme. This is what those who were fortunate enough to know you will remember by you, will be remembered by you. Thank you for being there for us. Rest well until we see you again. And God will wipe away all tears from their eyes. There shall be no more death, no sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. Revelation 21.4. Unyamefa will cry and see a grandpa. Demifaji. Jenny Amani.
Thank you, Anne Marie. It's now you will now call the wife, in laws, friends, and GAC UK for their tributes, followed by a viewing of the body, which will be controlled by Elder Ernest Osafu from Lee Valley SDA Church. Tribute by wife, Janet Utra Nyama. Now the laborer's task is over. Now the battle day is past. Now upon the farther shore lands the voyager at last. Father, in thy precious keeping, Leave we now thy servant sleeping. Kwame, my darling, I had barely left your bed at the hospital in less than an hour and then received the dreadful call from the consultant to let me know that you had gone to be with your maker. My heart sank. My legs went weak. And I did not know where I was. We were together for 38 years. And there was never one minute of our time when I was not happy. I cannot believe or come to terms that you have left me. Our last visit to Ghana was when you fell ill. And this carried on until we got back. And that would be your last visit to Ghana. Which really saddens me. But God knows best. And he loves you. That is why he has called you to your eternal rest. You are such a genuine and honest person. You are extremely helpful to all, the members of my family and my friends. You are a man of few words, very polite, and always gave me lots of good advice and answers to most delicate and difficult questions, which I greatly valued and appreciated. You were such a good listener and always gave a great and deep thought to situations before giving your honest advice. I thank you so much for introducing me to the Seven Day Adventist Church, where I was and still am deeply welcomed. Kwame, your absence will continually be felt at church, but I feel secured and comforted in Jesus, in that Jesus you introduced me to. In fact, I have lost a good and faithful soulmate who is irreplaceable. Being with you just made me feel safe and secured. I feel lonely, Kwame, and drained already since your passing. You are such a committed Christian so I am consoled 
And this gives me hope that we shall surely meet again one day. My heart really bleeds as I say goodbye to you. Rest in peace, my darling Kwame. All in the everlasting arms of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Fare thee well, my sweetheart. Medofopa de ye. Sleep well. Good night. Friends of Gak UK. Tributes. Oh, in laws, sorry. In laws. Followed by friends and then Gak UK. It is, with, it is with a very heavy heart and deep sorry that we pay tribute to our deep, dear father-in-law. We were privileged to call Mr. Kwame Ojo Niyama Aji Kwame because he has warmly welcomed us to be part of his noble family. Aji Kwame was a man of few words, kind-hearted, respectful and loving. He always showed humility and was always peaceful. He showed love to all people and demonstrated a strong faith in God. These are qualities that we in the in-laws see in his children, our husbands and wives. He was a good advisor, a counselor and true friend. We will continue to cherish you in our hearts and we will miss you greatly. Although we are here to pay our respects, it is just as important to remember the precious memories. Ajay Kwame's legacy of faith, grace and style has empowered us to capture sh shared precious moments as a family during grief we find moments of grace and beauty when it is easy to assume such things don't exist in the desperate place of grief. It is the hardest moments we choose to love despite and because of his death. Ajay Kwame, your faith points us in our grief to the living God who meets us in our pain, knowing that you have been carried through death into resurrection life. You are engraved in our hearts forever. Until we meet again on that blissful shore, your in-laws say farewell, miss you. Please, friends, friends, if they are not there, Gak UK, please. Say not in grief, he is no more, but live in thankful, thankfulness that he was. I'm reading this on behalf of my parents, Mr. and Mrs. Owusu Jemfi. Today we gather to celebrate the life of my dear friend, Akunta Kwame Adrunyama. Akunta Kwame Adrunyama 
as we fondly called him, was a kind, clever, and thoughtful soul who had a positive effect on every single life he touched. To the Awusu Jemfi family, Adron Yama was a beloved and treasured friend and uncle. I first met Adron Yama in 1960 in Kumasi. He and I were part of a group of seven energetic and ambitious young teachers. Although we all taught in different schools, we lived in the same community and bonded over the years. Over time, we became great friends who confided, confided in each other and trusted each other implicitly. Like most young men of our generation, we aspired to travel to greener pastures. And between 1968 and 1972, the seven of us left Ghana. Two went to the USA, and five of us eventually ended up in London. In London, he and I continued our friendship. Kwame was a true and devoted friend. He thought nothing of putting others before himself. He gave his time, his advice, and, he shared, and shared his wonderful spirit with those around him. We were eventually joined by our respective partners, and our friendship only deepened. He was held dear, dear by my wife and loved by my children. In fact, he acted as a Bushra Penyu for my son-in-law during the traditional marriage of my daughter. As per usual, he graced the occasion with his wit, his warmth, and his charm. My son-in-law often talk, uh, son-in-law and daughter talk fondly about how he saved him um, when he helped him to tie his cloth uh, on, the, on that day, when numerous internet tutorials had failed to do the trick. Adrian Yamar's wit and charm was only surpassed by his intellect. In the early 80s, he set up CAS, the Current Affairs Appreciation Society, initially for his friends, because he felt as Ghanaians in the diaspora, we needed to better understand relations between Africa and Europe and how it was influencing issues in the day, of the day in Africa. He was diligent in his preparation of meetings and ensured we not only learned from each other, but from various experts, including visits to the House of Lords and talks from members of the House of Lords, from African ministers, parliamentarians, scientists, to name a few. From humble beginnings, in its heyday, CAS had over 100 members. A few days before Kwame's passing, he called me. As dear friends, we had the great honor of being friends uh, with each other's wives. And whenever one of us answered the phone, our first response was, Akunta Boni, you are jealous because your sister doesn't want to see you because she's enjoying such a good marriage. We would then laugh and then talk our talk. Whatever the subject matter, there would usually be some friendly insults. I fondly remember that call today, as I will for the rest of my life, for it is the last time I would talk to my dear friend and brother. A few days after, I got the call that Kwame had passed on. Kwame, it has been my absolute privilege to have known you. There's an old African proverb that says, as long as we live, they too will live, for they are now part of us as we remember them. My brother, if I queer my wife and I live, you will live, for you are now part of us, and we will remember you until we meet again. Nanti ye. I'm glad to have my senior or my boss next to me, a tribute by Ghanaian Seventh-day Adventist congregations in the United Kingdom, in short called GAC UK, to the late opinion Odru Nyama. Then I heard a voice from heaven say, write this, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the spirit they will rest from their labor, for their deeds shall follow them. Revelation 14, 13. On behalf of the leadership, pastors, and elders, 
and the entire community of Ghanaian seven-day congregations in the United Kingdom, namely London, Ghana, Liverly, Southeast, Southwest, Elephant and Castle, Prince Emmanuel, Redden, Slough, Melton Keynes, Manchester, Birmingham, Frimley, Leeds, Telford, Bracknell, Northampton, Coventry, and Swindon Group. And on behalf of every member, we wish to extend our deepest condolences and sympathy to the family of Openi Udru Nyama. Our late father, uncle, was a much loved member of GAC UK, and his passing into glory sent shock waves and deep sorrow throughout the community. His departure has indeed left us all shocked, saddened, and in great despair. Openi Nyama's life was shortened by illness and pain, but through all, all it, through it all, he never complained. He bravely and kindly fought on, holding on to the belief and hope that God will make all things beautiful in his time. We will always remember how kind, humble, and down-to-earth opinion was, and look back on fun memories, on good times we spent with him, his generosity and kindness, towards fellow man and his commitment towards the cause of God. Opinion had a calm and peaceful demeanor and a good sense of humor. His wealth of experience meant many of us could go to him for advice and he never disappointed us. His many tales were always a source of comfort and joy and these memories and stories we created with him, we will forever keep in our hearts. We pray that God will comfort us all during these difficult times and grant us peace, which passes all understanding. For now, Openinyama is no more, but his legacy lives on. He sleeps down, but we hope to see him again in the resurrection morning. Until then, we say, Unyamenfa Ejakra Insie Jojo. Amen. We are going to do the viewing to pay our last respect to our late grandpa Nyama. So this is how we're going to do it. The organist will give it, we have some selected hymns, so um, you can read through them, start playing for us. We start from the left wing, and those upstairs, you can come uh, down now. So uh, the left wing and those upstairs, up to the family. So when you get to the family, family you wait, then you move to the right wings, the same thing up to the family, you wait as well. Then we come to uh, my extreme left here, followed by those behind the choristers. So um, please, uh, we don't have much time, so um, when, you just, when you get here, kindly just uh, move on quickly for us. Just a few seconds, then you move on. Thank you very much. Choristers, um, musicians, give us some hymns. Um, his favorite, starting from his favorite, 594, Hell of Kingdom. From the back, we started from the back, yeah. from the back, yeah. We started from the back, yeah. We started from
Because you know, for now, we are step down. Now, for be joining left wing. For now, we are The last stanza. But when it's so shit. Shall see the king sit by and by as I sit, come and be in what's room.
Stanza. Yan so a jack there for no. If you know a year, then you know. One little actually a panu tea. Nishra are a two year in the Sana three. left wing Four three five. Four three five. Okay. Four three five. Pacho, I saw it. I'm from Nomra. Too far not be far now. The glory song. Say me prayer name in sorry in shem.
Eye pi ma me kra. Ewra de ma bo se da no omra tem na munu ku mu bo se mo ma trobe to be bo na e wu di be san ju am pa e ye pi ma mi kra e ye pi ti aso fo ne pe ni fo ne be gina na okunafo ababeka aso fo no na o ma support okunafo mi kra Him number four six two. Present assurance, no cost and penny. Yes, you are meeting him number 462. You can open your hymn and sing together. MPP UK M MPP UK um, people here to um, view it. At the MPP for UK, I'm going to see 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 MPP UK, where are they? Masem Ara Ni Mi Jum Suni Mekan Fuma Chi Kwade Yina. All right, we'll quite undertake us to cover the casket so that we will pray. I hope for my pa. Any Jepa, a Dow, and it's a sore. It's wrong to hear last time, no, you're a cut as soon. That is good. The final one, you want to take us to do it. Fama, pa, any Jepa, oh, Dow, any Swadi, Huni. Abofudi mo buro hunu ni odo sem fisu samba masem mari ni mi jumsu ni. Make up for my Thank you, thank you. Um, Pastor Fagos will pray for the family. Prayer of consolation. Mr. Woman, you want to run for my Make up for my 
All the pastors here, can you please come and join us, please? All the ministers here. I've seen Pastor Jojo here, Pastor Abuachi Siama, and Pastor Abuachi. Join us here as we commit the family into the hands of the Lord. This is a solemn occasion. This is a time that each and everyone has to pray as well for the family. Takes only God to console and to bless. trust. Mary to cry sorrow, cry so. Dad, you're a me. Froko, I need my sister. me, Israel, say, Nyami, Fabi, Nice. Sorry, and in qua near our Jimmy Dino. So I won't pa obey Yanqua. I am the resurrection and life. Anyone who believeth in me, even though he is dead, yet shall he live. Someone am a worse than small bomb pa and strobony piara if he send me no any more. My barn and a puma and a vegetable rare. Me father four court, me first got four court. Nancy will be Piera eight in the men to train. When you may watch someone could tone a shedding. Now, what same one who are dinner may serve a busian? Now, what some is the end stroke? Naminum in the war. Mama come in two, Naminum in Yanko Pong, Mebuamo, Name Shemote, Name de Vitrini Fabacutimu, a rather was some woo. To me a woman, and I yes, a busian. What's some noir gusu cassette? Menon and num, a sumua, menon and num, a jamua, menon and num, a subontarian fauda, the Jaframansor in show, my boatin and my frail war, me and our woman, a rather was some, a mutumi, and I may say my busian. Wow, okay, bum, now she, Gina, or so could see a baby, my and other son, baby, and see a mayacuma in two. I rather was some woe and a medea mebusian. And Uncle Tony Modensha. And a Miss Sasa or to me at the Nina Yeno. On Sunny Wabusianimu, a brave woman, Chicha Busian Ure, and Papa Busian in any woman is so. If you could not force so, your mammy Janet is so. A quack was in Nakuma Crasso, a war, a Busianimu, a radic on one side. Yes, my home is way, a radic aside, Chirabusian. If you are your dean, if you are your cum, or do poor be a two, brandy be a top, a sepia sea, Nisubu con, Nasu Rebusian to say moi, 
Ocasacho when you book home, send me no any war. Ain't you moon so? Moon shedding. If you send me come home, ready, I saw for your share as ministers here. What can we say to console this family? Our words come from the word of you, your words, which says, Don't let your heart be troubled. I am with you. Don't be afraid. I am with you. So, as ministers here, as we stretch our hands on the family, as a sign of consoling and blessing them and telling them that don't let your heart be troubled, Jesus is by your side. Amen. May the Lord wipe away all your tears, dry all tears from your eyes and give you the peace that you need. As you journey through this sin sick world, our dad has finished his work. It's left with us to live a life worthy of emulation. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you, family, and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance towards you. Mom Jane, your children, grandchildren, all and sundry, and grant you peace. Peace. Absolute peace. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Him number 103. Amen. Mr. Obifon, I'm ready and some until you hold the kids for now. I'm back to my mouth. You have a lost and missing, a lost and found uh, phone here. Yeah. If you see one of the dickens here, you stand here, you can collect your phone. Dada Pimfi. Nyami Yenti Boafu Pa Nije Nani Dasu Ahu Yamu Let's have it quiet now. We're going to deal with some three items before the preacher comes to speak. But before the preacher speaks, there is a team here from NPP. We will allow them to give some few minutes tribute. When they finish, I will do an introduction, then the scripture reading comes, then the program follows. So let's wait for NPPs, if they are here. They came at the very nick of time, but we have to give them the chance. So please bear with us. Are they coming? Okay. Good afternoon. Um, I won't call this a tribute, but just an acknowledgement of our long relationship with Mr. Nyama, whose casket is in front of us now. He is a founding member of the New Patriotic Party of Ghana. And those of you who are Ghanaians, you know how long our country went under military dictatorship, 
and how long we struggled to come back into true democracy. And one of the pillars in London, which was the center of gravity of opposition to military dictatorship, one of the persons or the pillars was Mr. Nyama and the late J.H. Mensah, the present uh, President Ekufuado. You all know um, the fighters. Um, he was not only a true blue, die in the wool member of the Dankwa Buzia tradition. He was deeply committed to the values, ideals, and aspirations of the new patriotic party of Ghana. A consummate Democrat who believes in the rule of law. He believes in democratic accountability. A leading member of the UK branch of the party. And a very loyal and incredibly resourceful member. It's rather unfortunate that just as we got contact with him, because we lost contact with Senyama for a while, and he told us that his phone, something happened to his phone, and he lost all the contacts. And when we reestablished contact, we informed him of his elevation onto the Council of Elders. And the Council of Elders, as you know, is not a position that you get on silver platter. You must be a proven, committed, and dedicated, and somebody who has contributed immensely to the success of the party. That shows the position that we held him. Now he is not with us. It's sad. But we believe in what the Bible says, that the Lord takes away from the earth the upright men so that they don't get corrupted. And we pray that he will be in the bosom of our Lord until the day of the resurrection. Thank you very much. Now the scripture reading that the servant of God has picked for this service can be found in Genesis chapter 3. I'm reading from the 14th to 15th chapter. I repeat, Genesis chapter 3, verse 14 to 15. And it reads, And the Lord said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, and above all beasts of the field. Upon thy belly, Thou shalt go, and thus shalt thou be, sorry, and thus shalt eat all the days of thy life. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. May good Lord add his blessing to the scriptures. Amen. Amen. As you recall, Pastor Daddy made us aware that the and the man who will be sharing the word of God with us was not introduced right from the start. We have in our midst the South England Conference president himself. He is our president for the conference that Openinyama is also part of it. He is here today to share the word of God with us. He has pastored so many churches. In a nutshell, now he is the president. Dr. Emmanuel Osei will be speaking to us. But before he speaks, we will light the London Ghana Church Choir to give us a rendition before Dr. Osei speaks to us. So after the choir has finished singing, the next voice that we'll be hearing is Dr. Emmanuel Osei. Thank you.
On behalf of my fellow officers and colleagues at the South England Conference, I wish to express our sincere condolences to the entire family of the bereaved at this time. Perhaps the musical item that was rendered by the London Ghana Church Choir perhaps sums up the question that might be in your hearts today. Where is our God? The one in whom we trust. Whenever we go through difficulties, whenever we experience pain, particularly when there is a bereavement, this question occurs and recurs in our mind and we ask where is God especially when it was not anticipated that death would follow that particular illness and so this afternoon I want to bring to us a word of encouragement and comfort from his sacred word From the time we are born, take our first breath, there is joy, sometimes tears of joy, because a newborn babe has come into this earth. At the time when we take our last breath, and one falls asleep, once again there are tears, not so much of joy, but of pain, of anguish, because the loss of a loved one has finally settled into our minds. In between, life and death, we are to live our lives and manage the time the Lord has given to us. Today I am somewhat sad, but in one sense I am happy because Elder Yama made his calling and his election sure. He was a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ. He embraced the Seventh-day Adventist message and the hope that we have in the Lord Jesus Christ. 
The Bible tells us that there is one name under heaven given to mankind by which we shall be saved and that's the name of Jesus Christ. I say that I am happy because Elder Nyama embraced Christ as his personal Lord and Savior. So if we are to believe the word of God, if we are to embrace God's word for what it says and for, for what it means, then we would not have to mourn as those who have no hope. For the word of God says that he who believes and is baptized, the same shall be saved. So what is this hope that we have in Jesus Christ? Why is it that we can rejoice when one has given their lives to Jesus Christ? Why is it that we do not mourn as those who have no hope? Well, let me take you back to the very first book of the Word of God. In that scripture reading that was presented to us earlier, we discovered a conversation taking place between God and our first parents. You know the story well. Our parents chose to listen to the lies of the evil one and disregard the word of God. The Bible tells us that when God came and called for our father, Adam, Adam, where are you? Adam responded, I heard you coming and because I was naked, I hid myself. God speaking to Adam says, who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten of the fruit of the tree that I forbade you to eat thereof. The story goes that Adam pointed his finger at his wife. It was she. She gave me to eat and I ate it. And then turning to the woman, he said, what is this that you have done? And she also put the blame on the serpent. The serpent beguiled me and I ate. Now you can imagine here was God, here was Adam, here was Eve, and Satan, who had assumed the form of a serpent, stood on the other side. God, now turning, addresses Satan. What is this that you have done? You are cursed among all the creatures on your belly shalt thou crawl all the days of your life. And now God begins to speak in prophetic tones. Still speaking to the serpent, I will put enmity between you and the woman, between her seed and your seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. That was the very first prophecy of the coming Messiah. That the seed of the woman would one day come and deliver a death blow upon the head of Satan the serpent, and thus put in an end to sin and its reign. From that moment, as a human family, we looked forward to the coming of the seed of the woman. From that moment, hope was generated in the hearts of Adam and Eve. But from that very same moment, Satan knew that his life would one day be cut short because the seed of the woman would come and bruise his head. 
And so you can imagine, when time continued to roll on, the human family was looking forward to the coming of the Messiah. In fact, there have been glimpses of the coming of the Messiah throughout the Old Testament. When Jacob was now an old man and he lay on his deathbed, the Bible tells us in Genesis chapter 49 that he called his 12 sons and all Israel lay on his deathbed and he called his sons. When he began with the elders right through to all his 12 sons, he now prophesied about the future for each son. But when he came to Judah, he said these words, the scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet until Shiloh comes and unto him shall be the gathering of the people. Satan was there, so he knew that the Messiah would come through the tribe of Judah. He watched the tribe of Judah as they went through their trials in the Old Testament, but he knew that the Messiah would come through that tribe. The prophet Isaiah prophesied and says, for unto us a child is given, for unto us a son has been given to us, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and he shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Prince of Peace, and the Everlasting Father. Oh, Satan was there, and he knew that the Messiah would come through a virgin. He watched the young women, especially from the tribe of Judah, knowing that one day the seed of the woman would come. Oh yes, as we move on through time, Daniel prophesied and predicted the very year that the Messiah would be born. And Satan was there and continued to watch and wait the coming of the Messiah. Oh, my friends, the Bible goes on to tell us that when the fullness of time was come, God sent forth his son, made of a woman, made under the law to redeem those of us who were ruled and governed by the law. Jesus came a According to the time prophecy. And Satan pursued him, tried to take his life, but God watched his son and protected his son. The Bible tells us he lived a life of righteousness, a perfect life. And even though he did not sin, the Bible says he was tempted in all points, like as we are, yet without sin. But on that cruel Friday, when Jesus was arrested and was tried and was condemned to die, on that cruel Friday, the Bible tells us that Jesus, after being beaten, was forced to carry that cruel cross. He was bearing the sins of the entire world. Humanly speaking, he was frail and could not carry that cross. And when the Roman soldiers saw that he could carry it no longer, they called Simon of Cyrene, pulled him out from the crowd, and caused him to carry that cross as they made their way outside of the walls of Jerusalem to a place called Calvary. It was there that Jesus was crucified for your sins and for my sins. It was there on Calvary that God had to veil his presence by that strange darkness that overshadowed the cross on that Friday afternoon. It was there on the cross that Jesus cried out, My 
God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? It was there on that cruel Friday when those religious leaders and soldiers stood there and they taunted him. He saved others, but himself he cannot save. They ridiculed him. Let him come down from the cross now and we will believe him. The truth of the matter, Jesus could have called 10,000 angels. The truth of the matter, Jesus could have come down from the cross, but if he had, then our salvation would have been lost. And so we praise God that Jesus submitted himself and died for our sins. And no wonder Jesus himself says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Today I rejoice because Elder Yama sleeps in Jesus, having ex accepted and embraced Jesus as his personal Lord and Savior. And it was Christ who says, He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Why do I rejoice? Because Jesus has paid the price for all Elder Nyama's sins. Jesus has accepted him and written his name in the Lamb's book of life. And when Jesus has laid claim on a person's life, no one can take that life away. And so right now I know that we mourn because the physical presence of this man of God is no longer with us. He sleeps awaiting that great day when Jesus shall call him out of his grave once again. And it's no wonder the Bible tells us that blessed are they that die in the Lord. Yea, saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labor and their works do follow them. My brothers and my sisters, our dear brother, our elder, our uncle, our father, our grandfather has lived his life. He now sleeps in Jesus, awaiting that great resurrection morning. And Paul, trying to comfort and encourage the believer, puts it this way. The Lord himself shall one day descend from heaven and his coming is not going to be a secret rapture. No, the Bible says the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. That means it's going to be an audible coming when Jesus returns again. With the voice of the archangel, Paul says, and with the trumpet call of God. Then he says, the dead in Christ shall rise first. We have laid many to sleep, but one day death will be the last enemy that shall be destroyed. Uh, because on that great day when Jesus returns, Christ himself will call Elder Nyama to come forth from his grave. And I've looked at the pictures as illustrated in the brochure. A handsome gentleman. When we shall see him again, he will rise in the bloom of youth, of strength, and of vigor. 
and he will be looking for his loved ones. He will be looking for those church members. He will be searching for his family. What a great reunion that day is going to be when Jesus returns again. So Paul says, the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain, we shall be caught up together to meet the Lord in the air. So shall we ever be with the Lord. Therefore, he says, comfort one another with these words. In times like these, when a loved one has been snatched away by death, we mourn because the physical presence is no longer with us. But we rejoice at the same time because he has made his calling and election sure. And, and, and God understands what we are going through not simply because he is God, but because he has gone through it himself. When Jesus died on the cross, God himself was there. He felt the pain and the separation. I, I, I listened as the eulogy was given and the tributes were shared. I listened and I heard that Elder Yama has been with our dear mother for 38 years. And, and the bond that exists is a strong bond. Can you imagine what it's like to be with someone for a hundred, a thousand, 10,000, for an innumerable number of years? God the Father had been with the Son throughout all eternity. And so the separation was that much more painful. He went through that because that's the only way you and I can be saved. And so I say to us today, God hears and God understands. He knows your pain because he has been through it. And he is walking this journey with you. So please, take heart. Because soon, and very soon, Jesus is coming again. Amen. Elder Nyama will one day hear the voice of God and will rise never more to part again. So until that time, let us be faithful and remain faithful to God because he who is coming will come and will not tarry. May God bless us all as we await his second coming. Amen. Amen. Thank you for your words of comfort. It's time for our closing hymn. It's not for us all or of us. Can we stand up and take our hymn books to hymn number 216 for our closing? That's our closing hymn. And it's when the trumpet of Lord shall sound, there radia be no be boom no.
Pompe <laughs> Aseda enka ura di din. Afi, di aseda e tosu mi yinu nobe ma obe mfuo, osofuo Emmanuel Osei, South England Conference. Ni bre, e huo din, ne enso, odwa o woma o nyame ma, ene inu ya penye inti. O nambu nyame ya se mso, etu ya mfu. Obe mfuo, nyame ishrao. Fe the asida tosu bi umbema osofo daddy na fe asofo a ewo he nyina ana eba ye nyina wo dosro nko a modern di achre ye e the asida bi umbema livali church and afi landing gana church and the entire eh gak uk church is ni nyina wo do a modern di achre ye some of kan ye ho achre ye yure I made you my dear, you know, a cost of a fair, fair, a war, a no, a one. As a dear chat to one of my, your jam for any other for you know, some you know, must sell my dad, yeah, ever can you home, my yeah, you may dear, fair, 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 one, no one, when you mean shram, amen. Please, the AY should get ready. The AY, you should be ready. After pa Pastor Quartin, I give the benediction. March inside, please. Thank you. Mr. Mumayin, I'm sorry, Maybe you can sing the chorus again of the song that we sang when the role is called Abjonda, then I'll pray. When the road is calling up John Dar, refrain. Go. When the road 
When the road is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the road is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the road is called up Oh Lord, oh Lord, that is our song and that, that is our plea and that is our wish. When the role is called up yonder, we love to be there with our elder brother Chris Kwame Nyama and the entire family, the entire Nyama family. Oh Lord, we long for that special day when Angels will be descending from on high with you, Master Jesus, yourself. And you call out his name. Kwame, let's go. Oh God, we long for that special day. Therefore, we beg you, God, that you will strengthen this family. That would assure them that though sometimes the going will be tough, and when the going becomes ungoable, Lord, Assure them that you are there. Assure them that you will comfort them and strengthen them and be on their side and by their side. Heavenly Father, as we do bring this service to a close, may your spirit, may your love, may your countenance continue to abide with every person here present. As we do disperse from here to other places, Oh God, help us to number our days that one day we shall pass through the same road. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit continue to be your portion from these days forth. In Christ's name have we prayed. Amen. Amen. When the road is called up your time. 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 Fan Fanta, please, ready. We've got only about three minutes. When please. The road, oh, when the road is called up yonder, when the road is called up yonder, when the road is called up yonder,